Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 at 147 and it's time for me to create some more storage for my spares. So um, I use these boxes, these photo boxes for my um, spare storage but they are getting a bit too compact um, for my liking now so I did the whole debate, do I create another box, do I not? And I've decided that I am because um, there are projects that I want to do with spares and yeah, I'm just gonna create some more boxes. So I thought I would create them on video um, so that you can see how I put this together. So uh, I've got a different design, a photo box, because they don't do the same design that I had before. Um, these are from Hobbycraft, um, but they are a photo box. So um, you do find that some other companies have the same sort of measurements. But I will pop a link to the Hobbycraft ones below. Um, even if they're not available in your country, you will be able to get the sizing, which should help. So that's my empty photo box but firstly I want to create the dividers for in the middle now they didn't have any A4 foam board in white so just to show you this is what I used last time was I just used white foam board the difference is this one is black and um, so not much difference but the sizing of these is 11 by 11 inches by 4 inches and I should get two out of an A4 sheet which is enough for one box so let's get this done let me just grab my cutting mat and I actually managed to grab that easier than I thought so um, you just want to use something that you don't mind slicing through uh, or in this instance a cutting mat that won't let you. Um, I'm going to do the 11 inches first because that will be easier because then I can just cut down once or twice after that. So I'm just going to mark 11 inches and I'm actually just going to mark it with my craft knife um, because it's black so it's not as easy to draw on. Though I could use a lighter pen and draw on it that way, but there we go. So I do have two markings, not that you will be able to see them very well on camera, but they are there. So I'm going to then line it up and I'm going to make sure my craft knife is quite long because you find that you need to cut through the top section of the foam first and then it takes a little bit more cut through the bottom section there we go has it done it all yeah so that is now 11 inches long which is how long I need it and then I need to mark for my four inch spots so I'm going to mark a four inch again I'm just going to use my craft knife in effect I'm just starting the cut and then I'm going to do one at eight as well because that will give me the two that I need <coughs> And get the right angle so then I want a four inch mark and I want an eight inch mark make sure I'm in the right place and then I'm just quite simply going to do the same again so four inches trick is making sure that you keep your ruler steady while you do this and then I just keep cutting until I can feel it coming away um, and then I know of because I'm, I'm cutting onto a craft mat and there we go we have one and then I'm just going to cut through and do the other And really there is not a lot of wastage with this so they are the only two bits that I need to throw away and an A4 piece of mount board is so much more manageable in my opinion um, 
though you can get bigger sheets and cut them down but for me this is so much easier so let's get rid of our little silicon packet and then we have two dividers which will stand up once of course I've got all the pieces of card in um, which will allow me to store my bags of spare drills so I'm going to tip them up to the side for now while I start moving some over so this is the box that starts with a hundred now I do already so I do start with B5200 don't ask me why it's just the way I do it um, just because I used to cross stitch so I know it's a B5200 now did I do these in centimeters or inches so it looks like I did them in inches. So because I already have all the pieces of card for every number, I'm just gonna let you know the measurements. So that is two and a half inches by four inches. So it's the same height as my insert, but of course it's a different width um, of two and a half inches. And that is a thicker piece of card. I then have um, baggies, which are two and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. I will also pop a link to the ones that I got down below. And then lastly, inside the pieces of card, uh, I just use a piece of like thick paper or thick card inside. That just helps the bags to stand upright if there's not many diamonds in there. Um, and the measurements of those are one and a half inches by two and a half inches just as I say, to make the bag stay upright. And then inside I have um, five two hundreds in square, which is S and R, which is round. I keep them all together. Um, I don't really want to have to create doubles of these labels to be able to put more than one. But my trick now is to move them over, but make sure that I am leaving um, a gap and allowing the diamonds to stand upright because the problem is by the time you get quite a few in especially the likes of this 154 which I have quite a lot um, they start all squashing up and they don't get to stand upright and that's what I'm finding the problem is and why I'm running out of space so I'm just going to keep moving these over bit by bit, making sure that all my bags are hitting the bottom of the box. And I'm going to see how far I get, and I want to leave some space at the end. See, this one hasn't got a piece of paper in it yet, and you can see it's already creased itself up. Um, the piece of paper is something that I only started adding afterwards, um, and I will go through, though not on camera, um, and put pieces of paper in um, the bags that don't have them. Now let's see if 310, which I only have round in here because square I have too many. So 310 will fit in there now and all of them are stood up right but I need to pay attention to the fact that I am constantly putting more diamonds in. So I think I am going to move 310 to the next row because I did get two more of these boxes. So that does leave some flow, but I think it will be a lot easier when I'm putting ones away. Let's see if I can grab another load. So I am in effect spreading them out quite a bit more than they were. But as time goes on, I take up a lot more space with my spare diamonds. So that's another load that in effect goes up to here, but then I'm leaving a bit of a gap. And then I'll move my next piece of card along. And now I also want to pay attention to numbers as I'm filling this box up, because I would like to put labels in the front. Now I've got so many I would like to know where my numbers go up to. So I'm gonna see if I can get up to the 600s or the beginning of the 700s while still allowing space. 699, oh, I should be fine. 
so let me stop the 700s from all tilting over so i do have quite a bit of space there um but that takes it up to 600 the 700s in my box go all the way up to here so we've got all of those and all of these i don't think they're going to fit in there without um what's the word i want to use so I don't think they're going to fit in there um, without me having to split the 700s up. So what I am going to do, that I did see somebody else do, if I can get hold of them. Sorry, I'm just reaching under my desk. Um, is I do have a load of these green boats. So what I can do to aid the rest of these to stand up is pop some green boats in there. Now, they did use green boats in between each one to give sort of a gap. Um, maybe I'll do it in between each number. So that's the 100s. We'll pop a green boat and then it go, or a few green boats maybe. And then it goes to the 200s. Then we start on the 200s. Um, oh, the 300s are in here as well. There's not many 200 numbers, I forgot about that. So we'll maybe pop two or three green boats in for the 300s. And then the 400s. Where do they start? They start here. So we'll pop two or three green boats in there. So it gives me a visual divider between each of the hundreds. Let me get some more. And of course, these are easy to remove when you're done. So that was 400s. This is the 500s. So we'll pop 500s and then 600s. Three or four boats in there. And then we'll go back to popping some at the back just to help those so there's the division of the boxes they're still standing upright but they've got movement which means I can fit more in which is my goal so that's that one done and I can just create a label to say that that's 100 to 600 so I will do that shortly and then we'll move these over so these are all 700s Let's take that out for a moment. And then these ones are quite squashed up. So those have a bit more. In fact, let's just take them both out. Because <coughs> these do not have my heaven and earth design numbers in it either. So that's all 700s. Is that going to leave much room? Not a lot. So maybe let's move those last couple over. Ooh. Pop my divider back in. And then get some more boats. If you don't have boats, you could always cut some more mount board, maybe to just differentiate between each of the numbers. And then I'm gonna move. I know this box only has up to 800s in. So are they all gonna move and leave a gap? yeah they are so we'll pop a couple of boats at the back of there which gives me room for movement and that divides up the 800s and i've got a rogue diamond floating in the bottom oh there we go Perfect. so then i need to get my second box which has my 900s upwards and let's see how many of the 900s we can move over and this is jam packed so 900s not sure how far the 900s move over still going on 900s oh there we go so that is to the end of the 900s. I think that's quite a lot there. So we'll again pop some boats in the back 
just to help these stand up and give room in fact the 700s need it as well don't they but they split up a bit more 700s went into two so i'll shove some boats at the front so there we go i've got a lot more movement now in those spare boxes and i've now got two boxes just up to the 3000s so i'm going to keep moving these i've got this one now which potentially i will i think i will just get away with the 3000s in one and then maybe i'll pop the um other colors in another or maybe I'll use the other one for my heaven and earth designs. But I'm going to get another sheet of black cut in my other photo box. Um, and I'll come back and show you them when they're all done. Uh, because I've gone through all the measurements and stuff already. So I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay, so I'm all done. That didn't take too long because of course I already have the system set up. But to show you, I have now labelled the boxes. Um, I can always take these out and change them should I need more space again. <laughs> we'll never know. Um, but this now has 100s to 600s. We've got loads of room so that I can be adding them without fretting that they're not going to stand up straight or fit. Um, but I've got 100s to 600s. Now I've labelled them like that, even though it goes up to like 699 um when i'm looking for a particular color or any particular spares 100s to 600s that's just the way that my mind works and um, if you want i know it's got the b5 200 in there but i know that um you do what works for you um again on this one i've done 700s to 900s so they're all in there um so whenever I'm putting them away, of course, I can put them away in blocks. Um, I then have one that is just the 3000s. So all the 3000s are in here. Oh, and that didn't work very well, did it? Where's that slipped out from? That slipped. This is me tipping them up, which is not a good idea. Okay, that slipped out from the front, so at least that's something. Um, there is loads and loads of space in this one. But um, what you can do, if need be, is of course shuffle them all over so they're a bit tighter and put something else down this side um, to keep the gap. But say, once I'm not tipping them up for the camera, um, they will sit quite nicely. I then, in my other box that I then, of course, transferred into the new ones, I have now made this my heaven and earth design spares, which is jam-packed. Um, they're mainly the likes of 902s and 3371s. You will note I do not have my 310s in here because I have so many, it is unreal. Um, they could potentially take two rows of a box all on their own. Um, so my 310s are just in one big baggie. Um, and I'll probably get a pretty pot for them at some point but they are completely out of the equation my three tens in squares are out of the equation because I just have too many and then my little box now this one I actually got from the staples in the US on a visit to New York it's half the size so it's you could fit in effect two um, this is what I used to keep my heaven and earth spares in along with just some tubs on my pegboard and um, this one now holds my special shapes now again I've got loads of room in here um, I may move them all into one and use this to store maybe some toolkits or spare pens or something but for now it's just got my special shapes in so this includes AB diamonds and um, just the rhinestone ones of some of them are of different sizes um, say more ab ones and they're just sorted by color and um, so they are now all in this one as i say i will more than likely move these together or maybe not it, it's a bit of a squeeze if they're all moved into the same column um but i may just pop some pop some other bits in here you know just to just to fill that tub up a little bit and stop it moving about but there's definitely room to grow in all of the boxes which is what i wanted um, it was getting 
a bit ridiculous. Um, the only one that's probably still full is my Heaven and Earth designs and these are only overflows um, from my others. But of course, as each of these numbers are no longer needed, for my heaven and earth designs they will go into my normal spares so if i do need to spread into a fourth box i will eventually have one um, but yeah that is me reorganizing um, my spare diamonds so that i have more space i did actually run out of green boats <laughs> we'll see how much the green boats work um, for, for dividing stuff up i mean in one sense they're great you know they're, they're thicker than the card and if you have enough, you know, you could potentially put it between each one. But for now, they're just um, stopping them sliding too much, giving me a, a difference between each of the numbers. You know, going up in the, the 3,300s or 3,600s, for example. So for now, they're working. And when I need the space, they can, of course, shift themselves. So... Thank you so much for joining me while I rearrange this. It will be a lot easier de-kitting kits now um, because I have the space to actually put all the diamonds. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you all again soon.